God bless everybody today. It is March 9th of 2024. We are one day off Ramadan. And I wanted to bring this warning to your attention. Because any time this has happened in the past. And I can't go back and find a time when it really hasn't. And I've done a video about this three years ago. How when a sitting president especially during the State of Union address that he did on March 7th, which was two days ago, indicated that he wanted a, a two-state solution with Palestine and Israel. Anytime this has happened in the past and a president of the United States has tried to divide the land in a national speech, like the State of the Union address, it has brought a judgment against this country, usually in forms of hurricanes or other types of really horrific events that do extreme damage to our country. And I've been talking about this potential six seal event that we could see on April 8th. Now, I can't guarantee this will happen. Don't. Don't drink the Kool-Aid. I'm just letting you be aware that in the past, in the past, any time that I've seen this occur, just shortly after that, we see destruction. So in Joe B's infinite wisdom, Angry Joe has put us in a curse, a literal curse that's going to come back to haunt us maybe in the next month or so we'll see how this turns out but based on what i'm seeing out here and as we're moving into the secondary phase of hezbollah against israel and everything happening out here it would make sense that we would get hit with a massive potential environmental disaster or something that would occur as angry joey doesn't know what he's saying or doing and now has cursed this country to a potential fate of judgment through God himself through this destruction that could potentially come upon us during April 8th and all of these cosmic events that potentially could happen. So in the last day or so I've updated this paradigm chart so that you can actually see um, this section in here that's actually coming up and how March 8th through April 8th might affect us. And I talked about this video um, I did about three years ago and how we would see all these global events start to affect the United States and how we would build up into potentially, you know, the Ottoman rise by 2324. We're here, guys. It's getting ready to happen. I'm not too far off here. It's always working within the parable of the fig tree and the uh, strong generation that ends in 2028. And so you got to go to the Feast of Trumpets of 27. This is my narrative. It's always been my narrative as we move forward. But anyway, I talked about how all these events were going to affect us and how Bush had done some announcements and all these presidents make these comments or statements during these huge events these you know state of union addresses and things like that and right after that we get smacked with massive earthquakes or hurricanes or you know um you know different areas of the country just get totally wasted okay so it's extremely important that we keep up with this I've done a number of videos here just in the you know last few weeks here explaining how you have all these huge events potentially building up to a six seal event on April 8th of 2024. Now I'm not going to tell you that I know this is going to happen because I don't. I'm just saying that if you look back in the history of time when these presidents have made these kind of statements and you split God's you know, land in half, 
he places judgment on us and that makes sense based on my paradigm that he would do that right after this statement and think about it joe biden comes out on march 7th right before ramadan starts right before we watch this hezbollah attack go on and that's coming up in the next few days maybe tomorrow because ramadan opens up as we get into monday here so this is going to break out and joe biden just stated this on the 7th and then we have approximately a month before we get to this april 8th potential nightmare event with all these alignments and stuff that i've been talking about for weeks here guys so i'm telling you when you have governments and people that do not have the capacity even though they say they're christians or whatever go to church every week on a sunday and then come out and do bad behavior they don't have the capacity to understand god's will and his plan but all you gotta do is go back in the history books and see this one this one's terrible this is so bad and you know it's coming <laughs> I guarantee it and think about this and i was just talking to somebody about this you got that fed window shutting on monday okay so are you going to start to watch the destruction of banks in the middle of all this if you guys can't see this coming i don't i don't know what i'm doing wrong i'm trying to warn you I've been trying to warn you for a while. I know it's surreal. I made a comment to another person today. If I give you any hope, any hope at all, that this won't happen, and I'm not saying it will, I'm just saying if I give you any hope, based on everything I've shown you, if I give you any hope at all, you won't do a thing. Because you just might not happen. It just might not happen. There's a 0.0001% chance that it won't happen. And so I'll just wait and see if it doesn't. This is a human condition of human nature to wait till the last minute and then fail. It's the way it always works. You know, God tells us to look at a lot of things in the skies and all these different things to address where we are in the world and the time that we're in. You've got a massive break out of a war coming up in Israel on the north and east fronts, okay? You've got a six-seal event potentially happening on April 8th. And I was just talking about this on the paradigm. If you look at this chart I'm presenting, you're going into a terrible cycle here, okay? You're right here now. To a dare. And I probably need to blow this up so it's easier to see. Because I know there's a lot of small print here. So you've got to a dare happening in the history of the Jerusalem. Um, it was attacked in the past, okay? During the start of Ramadan this year. This is when this date happens, okay? Hezbollah's getting ready to break out. Israel's very concerned about this. Iran and Turkey are probably just going to walk into the war here at this point because there's really nobody trying to hide much of anything at this point. They're just doing their thing. And look at what's going to happen. You have this buildup between the 10th of March at the beginning of Ramadan, when they place this holy war down for a month on Israel, to a buildup of approximately the 23rd, which is 15 days before the 8th. I talk about this hour of power, how 10 nations will come together, receive power for one hour to go against Jerusalem. That'll take you to the 8th. You have a solar eclipse, a total solar eclipse over this country that spans over seven states seven's an interesting number if anything else it goes over seven different cities with the name uh, nevena or however they say it 
you have the devil comet coming through and all this is basically hitting us all around april 8th and so you're gonna see this build up guys and now joe biden bless this man which has no capacity to truly understand what's going on out here and is being used as a puppet to deal with this nation has now cursed this nation by stating to the world that he wants us to state solution so just realize your judgments getting ready to come upon you shortly usually right after these things happen within weeks or months i'm saying about a month you're going to see destruction hit so get your popcorn out get your glasses 3d glasses out this one's getting ready to start this movie is just taking off and you're going to watch it play out soon so if you haven't got your oil in your lamp guys and you haven't done what's required to prepare your time is extremely short at this point i hope you can still do what's required so god bless have a great night um keep on this one i'll keep warning you if i see things but this was bad and whenever we see these types of things happen they end up badly so god bless have a great night